So as you can see from the last video, but really what it was is it just grows. They grow it everywhere, they cultivate it, but they cultivate it naturally, natural cultivation. So they've got a hill, they got the most perfect of soils that just you would die for. I've done a meter test, um, I, I've rammed the meter right in the, as it goes down it just gets damper, which is what good earth does. It's got the right covering of leaf, it's never drying out. It's constantly getting new matter laid down onto it. It's on a malign chalk base. It's surrounded by ozone energy, the sea and the salt. And I've got to be honest with you, the, the herb up here is fucking lovely. Now, I can't smoke a full strip of it. Not that it knocks me out, it, it just, it's like good wine, you take a sip of it, you don't want to gulp it, it's too nice. It's, have, a, have a puff, sit and enjoy it. This is it, it's creation, this is what creation is. Nature living with man, man living with nature. You add this ganja in, this herb, and the whole thing will go into an acceleration. How you accelerate this, I don't know. I probably don't. But obviously from some of the drier patches in the world, this is what we would aim to do. Re re reverse the damage that's been done by the petrochemical industry. And by good quality biodynamic... One straw revolution, permaculture, organic, whatever label, natural farming methods, we can restore the damage that's been done. And when we learn about some of the earth magic and earth energies that we could possibly use, we could do what nature does in a thousand years, maybe in ten. Yeah? But we shouldn't be relying on them on that though. Right, to get us out of trouble, it really needs to happen quickly and hopefully Jamaica is the first place where we can put that together. Aye, Ja. Yeah. Yeah.